You want to be first team. First team. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll introduce you as the uh, three senior leaders on the volleyball team. Is that cool? Mm -hmm. Or I can say. <laughs> What'd you just say? Okay. Okay. Down production, take one. one. Okay. All right. I'm here with uh, three senior leaders of the OCHS volleyball team with uh, Ashley, Tania, and Forgot your name, Jason. Let's do it again. <laughs> Down production, take two. All right, I'm here with three senior leaders of the OCHS volleyball team. I'm with Ashley, Tania, and Jason. Ladies, thank you for spending some time with us. You know, uh, what is this team capable of this season? Winning region and moving on from the first round of state. All right, what are your uh, what are your personal goals for this season? What are your uh, personal goals for this season? My personal goal would be to be on the first team all area. What, like, what do you have to do to, to get that like award? Basically, just be really good at your position. Are you really good? I'm good, but I want to be really good when so you, I can get on the first team. When you go to the beach, do you like just dominate? No, I don't like sand. <laughs> I'm back on the other day. What is your fondest memory of your time as a volleyball player at Oakville County High School? Uh, probably all four years calling OC before every game and after the games. Like when we went to like Union, the bus ride was really, really Definitely when people were throwing up. Oh, all that curving. And our bus driver was going 80 miles an hour, too. Uh-uh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's not right. I probably shouldn't not know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I might have to cut that out. <laughs> just saying. Uh, every time I go to the beach, like, people are just, like, playing volleyball. Why? Because the best sport in the world to play. Yeah, I agree. You really get to get your anger out. Yeah. Just go out there and dominate. Um, yeah. Um. Alright, uh, Ashley, what's your, what's your best strength as a volleyball player? Having a positive attitude. You like the glue player, you like keep the team together? Mm -hmm. It's important. Yeah. Tania, what's your best strength as a volleyball player? Um, probably during a game, finding any hole that I can find, whether it's serving or hitting the ball. What, what's your like favorite action in a volleyball game? Like, do you like saving a ball from from going out and losing a point? Do you like serving? Do you like spiking, setting? Yeah, I like saving balls and like falling on the floor. But like the pain afterwards ain't all that great. Yeah, that's, that's why the like, beach volleyball is better. Uh, I'm just saying, Jason, what's your greatest strength as a volleyball player? Passing, like basically just throwing myself on the floor. Mm -hmm. Again, it's better on the beach, you know, no, no. you know, in waves. The bruises are worth it. Like, they're worth it, so. No pain, no gain. You're just not tough enough for, like, like indoor volleyball. You're only tough enough for, like, sand. Volleyball. Look, okay, my dad owns a dealership. Like, uh, no, I'm tough. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, okay, come to our second... Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh. Come to our area game Thursday against Washington Wilkes at five and six, and then next week come to our other area games, which is also a breast cancer awareness game against LOA. I'm here with OCHS volleyball coach Kate Sheely, and Coach Sheely, can you give us your quick uh, bio and resume? I can. I actually graduated from here in 2013, um, and then I went to UGA where I was a health PE major. And I've actually got my master's in that also. Um, I worked at Columbus for a year and I was the middle school volleyball coach there. And then I came here and I was assistant for one year and this is my second year as head coach. Coach Sheely, why do you do what you do? Why coach high school volleyball? Um, I've always enjoyed sports. Um, that's why I was health and physical education in college. Just the competitive aspect of sports has always been interesting to me. And volleyball is very, um, very technical and there's a lot of little things that make you 
good at volleyball. Um, so it's always been interesting, and I would just love the athletes. I love being a part. Did you play volleyball? There actually was not a volleyball team here when I went through, so I did not play volleyball until college. Did that factor into your desire to want to coach at all? Um, so actually, I kind of got drug into it when I worked in Columbus, and so I learned a lot. I was assistant there, and so I learned a lot from the head coach there, and he just kind of sparked my love for it. Have you seen uh, Top Gun? I have not. Have you seen the original? I have not. Top Gun? All right. Well, there's a scene in it where they play volleyball on the beach. It has nothing to do with flying planes or anything, but it's, it's just like pure awesomeness. Yeah. It's amazing. And without that movie, I, I wouldn't even know what volleyball is. <laughs> what volleyball is. Yeah. But I'm just, I'm just wondering, like I look at the court, I'm wondering, how do y'all get all that sand in and then play the game and then get all that sand out and like still make it home? Like, it's a lot of work. I usually just sleep here. Okay. Yeah. That works. Work yeah. There's a lot of that going around, just burning the candle yeah. at both ends. Mm -hmm. That's the life of a teacher and a coach. It is. I live here. So. <laughs> All right, the way that volleyball does its season standings, like its playoff seedings, mm -hmm. all that stuff is kind of confusing to the uninitiated. Okay. Can you kind of break that down for us? Um, so our area has actually changed a little bit this year. So we're in an area that has six teams, um, and we play each person in our area twice. So last week we played the Social Circle twice, this week we've got Washington Wilkes twice. Um, and then from there, based on your, your seating in the area, depends on where you go in state. So if we end up first seed in our area, we'll play the fourth seed from another area. Okay. How many, how many schools uh, make the playoffs? Oh, that's a is it, question. Is it like, is it like um, 32? Like some there's four schools? from each area. Okay. So. I got you. So it's set up just like everything else. Yes, yeah, like basketball or. But instead of regions. Correct, it's in regions we've got area. Okay. And I think that's just because there's the lack of programs around us. Okay. So. Coach Sheely, what would make this season a success? Um, first goal is to win our area. It is very doable for us this year with the new area that we're in. Um, and then my biggest goal is to make it past the Sweet 16 in state playoffs. I think that's the furthest this program has ever gone. So that's the big, that's the ultimate goal. Um, for you to, to win the, the area, mm -hmm. and for you to win, I guess you'd have to win two mm -hmm. playoff matches. Win. Um, what would need to happen? What would you need to have happen to make that a reality? Um, right now, I'm just working on getting everybody on the same page. A lot of games will have two or three girls who are having great games, and the rest of them are kind of falling off. Um, so for me, that's the big thing, is just getting everybody into the same place. Because um, I think if everybody's on and we're on the court, it'll be no problem. Being that we're kind of landlocked and there's no beach around here, where do you guys find the sand you need, you know, for practice? That's a great question. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's really hard. We have to go all over the county and get little shovels and put it in the truck and ship it over. You know. Yeah. It takes a long time. That's what we do all summer, really. Summer I've practice. Seen, I've seen you guys. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. That makes sense. Coach Sealy, thank you for spending time yes, with sir. us, and good luck to you this Thank season. you. I appreciate it.